Hello, future leader. Welcome back to MEN 101 webinar by International Global Network. I'm Alana and I'll be your host for today. Feel that I'm ready to learn something new today? Let's dive right in. Now, speech is an essential part in MUN. To win an MUN competition, you need outstanding skills in speech delivery. Not only about the pronunciation and then the tones and then the enunciation, but surely about the content of your speech as well. I'll give you a few tricks to how to make a killer speech. Number one, make a great hook. The beginning of a speech should grab your audience's attention. It should give your audience a reason to listen to you. Otherwise, they won't. An attention-grabbing introduction is often called a hook. As we have learned in the previous chapter's video, you can open your speech with a question, with a quote, with a statistic, or even a story to attract everyone's attention. Don't forget to always state facts in your sentences. Facts are boring, normally. We can make facts an eye-catching introduction to your speech. Adding them to your opening sentences will make your speech not only interesting, but all the more valid. The better and the stronger the facts, the more influential you will be. Number two, the point. The point is the purpose of your speech. It is the reason why you're speaking. Once you have your audience's attention, you should deliver your point. MUN speeches are so often short, one minute and 30 seconds, so stick to one point. Make it significant but simple to understand. It's better to say one thing well than many things poorly. In opening speeches in MUN, the point is to state your country policy on the topic. Then offer two or three reasons explaining why your country had adopted this policy. Here's an example. The Republic of Korea believes that education is a human right and that all people should have access to education. Education is a pathway out of poverty for millions of developing countries like Korea was just a few decades ago. Education is the driver of change and development in this world and education is critical for the human race to continue to thrive and to grow. There you go. Number three, call to action. Good speeches end with a call to action, which is when you tell your audience to actually go and do something. Your call to action is your specific solution to the problem at hand. Another example, to provide universal access to education, Korea proposes the creation of an international fund called Education for All that will support three programs in developing countries, building more schools, training new teachers, and preventing girls from dropping out of school. We call upon the international community to create and to donate into this fund so we can guarantee education as a right globally. There you go. As an addition, always stay concise, convincing and persuasive, detailed and specific, and always address the delegates and the chair in the third person. For example, honorable delegates, honorable chair. Also, the important thing is how you can influence others to believe in what you say. For that, you have to be an eloquent speaker. You shouldn't fumble. Well, it might happen a bit here and there, but you should know, you should remain calm and hide your imperfections where possible. Influence people with your killer speech and get them on your side. That's all for today, delegates. After watching this video, we are sure that you are more motivated for your next MUN conference. Get ready and good luck snatching at your next MUN. My name is Bilal and see you on the next video.